So today I'm going to be teaching you how to create an animated toggle button on Figma. So today this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating this animated toggle button that we'll be using for our dark mode and light mode switching in our smartphones. If you're new to my channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. But if you're not new, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. So without further delays, let's get started to designing. Okay, so the first thing we we'll do is to change the name of the document to wherever you want to change it to. Practice. That's not how it's spelled. I'm sorry about that. Practice. All right. And uh, we'll rename our page. This is page one. So let's rename it to design. Let's try to keep everything organized. And uh, let's create another page for components. Alright, this is page two. So let's rename it to components. Alright, so this will be will be creating our components. Alright, so let's get creating. And um, the first thing we'll do is to draw a frame. So let's take a frame and draw it like so. Okay. All right, okay, I think I can make this shorter, a bit shorter. Okay, and then I will give it a rounded edge of 200. Okay, and then I'll give it a fill color of somewhat ash, that's too strong, something like so. Okay, that's good. And then I'll bring in a rectangle, make it a perfect square by holding shift and dragging. Excellent. I'll make sure I align it to the help of the guidelines and uh, give it a rounded edge of 100. Perfect. And uh, let me make this frame a bit shorter. And then I'll move this circle in a bit somewhere like there. All right. And then I will give it a fill color of white. Excellent. And uh, the next thing we'll do, I'll duplicate this by highlighting everything, holding down my Alt key and dragging it out. Excellent. And then I will hold this square and drag it out a bit, like so. Excellent. And then I will highlight everything here and I will duplicate it, like so. Excellent. And then I'll check the alignment to see the space between the circle and the frame. So I will click on this, the rectangle and hold my Alt key. And as you can see, it's 17. The space in the 17. So I'll have to bring this one over here and ensure that the spacing is also 17. So I'll hold my Alt key. Currently, it's at 14. So I'll move it to the right a little bit. One, two, three. I believe it should be 17 now. Okay, 17. All right. So the next thing I'll do, I'll highlight everything here. And I'll hold my Alt key, click and drag to duplicate. Okay, perfect. And then I'll check to... I'll reduce this rectangle back to its original state of uh, 54. 54. Perfect. Okay. And then um, the next thing I'll do is to change the coloring. So um, this one here, I'll change the coloring for this frame from this ash to somewhat blue. Yes, I think this will do. This will do. Okay. And then... Um, next thing I'll do is to also change this coloring to that same blue. Perfect. And we are done with the design. So the next thing we'll do now is to highlight everything and uh, create a component set. 
perfect and then our prototype so let's head to the prototype section and uh, on the first one i'll click and drag it here and then i'll set the action to unclick change to frame 2 animation smart animates okay dokie and uh, from here i'll set uh, the action from here i think we're missing something we're missing something we need to create yes i'm missing something so let me delete this interaction first let me delete this interaction and head back over here and um i'll i'll create a variant because we need more one two three four five six excellent so one two all right so this one i'll reduce it okay i'll remove this one entirely and then i'll bring this one this circle here let's see the width the width of the rectangle is uh 77 so I'll increase this to 77 by dragging it 77 perfect all right okay i think we could have left it the way it was but um let's just proceed and uh, let's just delete this and uh head to the prototyping so we'll prototype this and bring it here on click change to smart animate excellent excellent and from here we'll bring it here and uh this will change from on click to after delay and i'll set the delay to zero milliseconds smart animate leave it like so and uh this will bring this here and we'll see on click change to variant 5 smart animate excellent and we'll come here and animate this over here and we'll see after delay and the delay should be zero milliseconds and we're good so let's rename this component to toggle okay and then um we are good we're good now so let's implement this design so let's get a frame uh let's get a mobile frame let's say 100 large and uh let's just see dark mode dark mode excellent let's change the font size to 16 to make it bigger and uh let's change this from pure black to something like so excellent and uh from regular to medium and uh let's put it somewhere around here and then let's bring the asset that we created earlier from the the button we created earlier let's bring it in here excellent and uh, let's scale it down to make it smaller so this will be clicking on to activate the dark mode okay so let's align it properly okay all right it's properly aligned so this is the light mode so we're going to activate this to create the dark mode so we'll duplicate this and uh, the light mode is white so definitely the background for the dark mode is going to be black so we change the white to black excellent and uh, the text color for the dark mode will change it to pure white very good so time to animate so click on this component and head to the prototype section and uh, let's change it from scale to move and uh, click and drag it over here on tap navigate to excellent and uh, we'll click on this one and navigate it over here on click smart animate excellent and we are done so the next thing we need to do now is to preview this so let's click on the frame flow one and uh, let's click on present
okay so this is our screen this is the light mode assuming this is your settings page on your phone so what will happen is um this is the light mode currently and uh, this is the menu for activating dark mode so let's activate dark mode now by clicking on the toggle button right here and as you can see it switches perfectly but the toggle button this is wrong so we'll have to work on the components so let's head back to the components okay so the default states let's change this default states from here to an activated frame frame 2 no not that frame 4 okay this is it so it doesn't look like the light mode all right so you can see right now you can see the toggle button is activated if you click on it if you go back to the white the light mode click on it to take it to the dark mode click on it take it to the light mode so that's how you design an animated toggle button on figma if you're new to my channel ensure you hit the subscribe button if you have any questions like this and you don't understand about this tutorial leave it in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer you okay so that's how you create an animated toggle button on figma Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'm sure you've learned something. If you're new to my channel, I'm sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer swiftly. Thank you very much, and until next time, goodbye.